charging that battery up. And the first thing you want, uh, you want about half a stack of iron first. So you just drop it in, switch the arc furnace on, tank, and wait for it. That should be ready in a second now. Yeah, well, there it is. There's an iron that goes in there. Next thing we want is a half stack of copper. I actually want less than half stack. I'll do this one out. See what I did there? Click on the stack. And you can split it down. You can do that with quite a few things, but not with everything. that to there. We'll put our three in there for emergency power. What we're actually going to do is pull all our ores into here. I'll try to keep them organized for that. We can check how progress is with this. Looking at the activate button. comes pink and we'll have fifteen grams of gold. That will be ample and again click on the stack to close it. Copper. This takes a little bit longer. Yeah. Okay. Get rid of the mining belt and exchange it for the tool belt. Oh, I didn't put that in there. Do it like that. Right, that's how to get silicon out. First thing we want is the electronics printer. Takes a little minute. Let's put a light on for a second. Let's have a look where are things. Iron frames, wall frames, I should say. It's on window at the moment. Use your scroll wheel, and you've got four different types of wall plus the window. Doesn't really matter for this which one you're using. Home key to put it to the top. End key to bring it back down. Delete key to move it around. That's going to be the door into our greenhouse. Of course, it's a greenhouse that needs a floor. We'll add that one. That one we don't want to leave down there, but the, we'll, we'll throw them. We won't leave them down there. We could just leave them underneath. Goodbye. It's getting there, it's getting there. Iron sheets, currently still got 24 of them. Sounds like a lot, but it's not. Right, so this area... is going to need to be airtight. Frames in this state are not airtight. Second sheet of iron well, into it. Don't forget to do your airlock as well. Make sure your torch is turned off before you put it back away.
Let's put the pickaxe away, shall we? Just get it out of the way. Pick up the wall frames. Now, because the sun comes up over that way, goes down over that way, I don't need windows on that side. And you don't need windows there. Over there. However, it's useful to have windows in at least half the roof. And at least half of that side. I'm going to deliberately do both sides completely windows. The more windows you put in the roof, the quicker it will heat up. But the quicker it heats up, the more you've got to exp uh, spend energy and time cooling. So you don't want it to heat up too quickly. Next thing you want is iron sheets. We are going to need more. is we can do the windows yeah 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 we'll drink we'll drink do the windows we don't need to worry about doing the walls let's turn our beacon off shall we and the battery's already quite so let's open it up swap it over for that one that back so we've got a fresh battery in it when we're ready. Turn that machine off as well, save it using power. Clear everything with the apostrophe, hit number five, and ring. Left all our water down there. Oh well, I'll bring some more up in a second. Right, next thing we need is the glass. Put the glass in the windows, do it straight away, you won't forget. So the room is actually half built. How many eyes have we got left? Four. One, two, three. Therefore, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven more sheets will be required. Just cleaning off there. Right. Hit the search button. SH. Iron sheets. One, two, three, four. Of course it's run out. Okay, let's quickly place this. There. And down there. Oh, we'll put the other half of that stack. That back away. Grab them. Open the bottle belt. Grab a wooden torch. Switch it on. Make sure it's switched off. We've got spot seven of the eleven that we need to build that. Then we want another Yep. So seven of the 
of the 11 we need in total to do that. Plus we've got hydraulic pipe men to put down yet. Which is two more. That means we need another five sheets yet. Bonus. I'll cable in this, shall we? We did. Oh dear, dear, wakey wakey. Already told you plastic sheets. Other way around. There we go. Yeah, finish it off with a screwdriver. Put the plastic sheets away. In Very short and cable. We're going to need to make more. But it just so happens we have the ingredients. Got another 19 copper in. All this smoke is using a lot of power. You've got to be careful of it. Keep an eye on that battery. It says we need to drink again. Go fetch some more water while it's smelting that then. So we shouldn't need to drink again for a little while now. So we shouldn't. Remember, we haven't eaten yet, and we are going to need to eat very soon. In fact, we might as well do it now, just before we get the warning at 40%. Right, let's get that in there as well. There's our copper. can make a cable in this one. It's slower, it takes more power. So and that will give us 38 cable. And we do need it all. And if you just let it pile that out it makes a huge mess. going for now. Next thing we need is we got console sensor. Ideally put the console power at the bottom, put it up high. You can instead use uh, what they call a console monitor which has the power at the top. If you're going to put it up there, it's not a problem. In fact I think we will do that one. Just to prove the point. Sensor, ideally, on the gas sensor at the bottom. Power's going to go up that side, so we'll put it there. Just like. Bit mean about it makes a mess. Let's just finish it as well. Event pipe. Right. And we're going to put the active wrong one. Active vent down here, making sure that the power node is at the top, 
and the pipe node is at the bottom. Put the pipe in underneath it, pointing outwards, like that. Uh, you can't actually put the pipe through, hit this corner here, because when you put your doors on, it will block the door from being placed. And if you put the doors on first, it won't let you put the pipe through there against the side. The top edge, you could have put a pipe through. But we're not doing that. So that goes back in there. There's the airlock. And doors. Airlock circuit board goes in that recess. And doors, you guessed it. Glass doors are fine for this. It actually makes it easier when you're carrying things in and out. Don't just pull backwards. Look at the powers, the markings, the power nodes. You want it so the power nodes will be facing each other. Much easier to cable it up. So that is your greenhouse. Impressive. Uh, effective. Yes. Bring your power out of there. Now, very temporary. Run it all off the same. Actually, what that one? That's it. Three way joint there. Run it all off the same um, power controller. So that's connected them up. Oh, I've got that minor detail. I'll connect this one as well. Because we've got the um, wire cutters in our hand, we can just join the cables. So, three way. Actually, on this one, we want a four way. Three way. Bend. Bend. Straight. 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 And at the moment, that's all the power we need. We need that and that. Put the glass in our backpack out of the way. Pick up the welding torch. It off, put it away, sort the of plastic sheets for the glass, pick up the um, crowbar, one, two, you have two doors for your functioning, and you put the glass, don't need a crowbar, on that as well. your data disk, drop it in there, leave it there, we're not ready to do this yet, we've got some more work to do first. That is as far as we can take it, now you can, if you wish, at this current time, save power, because these doors are consuming power, which you're all ready for it. So the next thing we need is in here, and it's the hydraulic pipe bender, which we short two grams of copper. Of course we are. And you notice that dropped them on the floor because my right hand was occupied. Don't need them, Adam. But in there, and up, turn it off. 
hydraulic pipe bender. Now we haven't got an awful lot of space left. So we're going to put it fairly close, but not too close to the machine. And hopefully, because that's the power that side, hopefully we've got enough cable just to connect these to it. And still leave yourself with four. We have a four, so that's fine. And we want our iron sheets back. Our cable. Swap this for plastic sheets. Welding torch. And screwdriver. Not doing too badly, so we don't need to panic. What we do need to do, we need to build more solar panels because we really have not got enough power there to do anything. So in the electronics printer, just want the basic solar panels at the moment. So they're 10 grams of iron, two copper, uh, sorry, 10 copper and two gold each. Mining belt. Ah, oh. all the stack. There it is. Pop that in there. You may not want the full stack. This takes so much more power to do the gold. Just to do the um, copper, and of course more time. Is that charging yet? It is starting to now. You notice at the bottom there, health, one hundred percent. If that was exposed to a, a weather, or an atmosphere, where you have storms. It takes damage in a storm, and you need your duct tape, and you need tons of duct tape. Then we need to drink again, and pop. Five. Get the last of that bottle. Empty. Empty. Last bottle. And there's not one more bottle down there, isn't there? I'm not going to panic about the food at the moment. Right, so we want two solar panels for now. They don't take along these basic ones.
two. Yeah. 